Hello and welcome to Tykes TV, Neil is here. Uh, today I've got a Cheltenham Town fan on, uh, Owen Knight. Uh, so Owen, great to have you on my friend. Thank you for having me. Um, yeah, I don't think, uh, you know, if you're a betting man you couldn't have that really. Uh, Barnes' first home game against Michael Duff's former club. Uh, again, he's, he's, he's been at uh, Barnes for a short space of time, Michael Duff, uh, Owen, and he seems to be still in you know, different standards, work methods and uh, work ethic. Is it something you saw as Cheltenham as well? Obviously, you know, he spent a bit of time here and it, it, at what I could understand and what I've looked at, it, it went to playoffs from his start on that and but got you promoted. So uh, it seems to be a very motivational guy as well. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, when I heard his first press conference at Barnsley, it very much echoed and mirrored the same messages he was sending when he first came to Cheltenham. Hmm. Um, he said, you'll just get a sweat on the shirt, that's the minimum. And he's one of those, he's very much a modern manager. He's old school in the way he comes from. Um, and, you know, he's made his way up through the lower leagues, that kind of traditional values, and very much now, like, getting a philosophy in place. He very much instilled a much more professional attitude at the club. Um, and kind of, he come in, uh, earlier on in the season, when he first came in, we got rid of Gary Johnson, hmm. um, and he didn't win any of his first ten games in charge. And it was kind of worrying from the outset. So I was like, I'm, I remember I was at MK Dons away, and I think he lost like three 0 or something. And he came in. He wanted to play four four two. He'd come from Burnley, and hmm. you can see he wanted to try and instill that kind of way. He even thought, I should say, like he's not going to last if these results keep up. And I was worried. I was like, you could see the. The potential was there with him, but he just needed to change and he adapted to a 3 by 2 And then for us, then the sky was the limit. I think um, we had an OK end to the season, really strong end to the season. And that the season after, we were progressing really well, missed out on playoffs for the COVID hit season. And the season after, first manager to win, win the league two title mm. for us. Last season, highest ever league one finish. He, he, he did everything he possibly could as a gentleman manager. So um, it was the right time for him to move. I think it was a good move for him. Um, got it to lose him, but yeah, certainly made history. Mm, cool, and, that, and that's an interesting uh, point. But I always thought it was a three-five-two, but he, he wanted a four-four-two kind of thing. So you had to work and adapt it, kind of thing, and it, and it carried on and worked. And what in in his press conference, he's done a few with fans and stuff, and he did he did say that so there's only one thing guaranteed in football is that that sack because it, like you said, he didn't win his first ten games, and he thought. You need patience. Obviously, he needed time to put his kind of work and his ideology into it, kind of thing. But he says you also need three points to buy that bit of time. So it was like in one hand and it's taking out the other kind of thing. So it, I think that me as a Barnsley fan and a lot of others, we we lost his first game against Plymouth and performance swarm there. Michael even uh, himself alluded to that and said they were disappointed with everything what we've done, so I'm hoping we're going to readdress it, but it's a tough ask. I mean, you had a great result at weekend, by the way. Um, do you think that, that what you've got there now is in players and manager, is it something that you can progress on that? Do you do you think we're not going to miss Michael Duff as much, do you think, uh, at Cheltenham? Do you think you're going to be okay? Um, I think whoever was going to go in and fill the boots is going to be a difficult ask, and I think for us, as fans, we want a continuity, which we've got with Wade Elliott. Wade, Michael mm. Duff brought Wade Elliott in and, and kind of, I think it was just that season we went out, the season we got the league title. Um, and we just needed that continuity. Whoever was going to be coming in, we didn't want somebody to rip up all the hard work which had been put in place, which he had allowed to build. So, um, yeah, I think it's really important what we've got now. We've got that continuity to build from to keep on evolving it because obviously the issue with this Saturday is this team, this style of play we're still playing with. Mm. Michael Duff's going to know it inside out for maybe a few tweaks here or there, but yeah. that's that's our only real danger. I think it's a really good time to be playing Barnsley because, as I said, Michael's very new in, first home game, still again trying to instill his his philosophy, his ideas. I think like it's, it's, it'll be a good time to play Barnsley and... Uh, yeah, it's going to be a difficult season for us, though, no doubt. So we need to try and pick up those points where we can. 
the, a great point what you just said there as well. He'll know the light system. We have a few tweaks here and there kind of thing. But I think you'll also know some of the players. I know there were a lot of talk on you know on Twitter about it, Barnsley and kind of thing, saying, oh, bring Alfie May and, you know, let's go back and do all that. And obviously, you're going to go for like players such as like Alfie May, you know, goal scorer and I demand. Do you, have you got any concerns that some of your players... I'm, I mean, it's like me as Barnsley fan, I think there's still two players what's going to go. Uh, Ellie and Styles from Barnsley, but at Cheltenham, have you got any concerns that you might lose one, maybe two players before window? I think the biggest biggest thing is keeping LP mate. Um, mm. It's gone very quiet on him, actually, recently. There was some initial interest in Birmingham. Mm. I know Michael had mentioned it a few times in his press conferences, but I think if we keep, keep hold of him, then it gives us a fighting chance. Um, I think he's what 29 now, so it's going to be his last real opportunity where he can get a bit moved. Mm. But saying that, he's another player who, who had to make his way through the lower league, got his move to Doncaster, did well for Doncaster, was really highly appreciated at Doncaster, but played on the wing a bit more like this. Is, is yeah. His only club in his career so far in the Football League where he's kind of just been able to develop and has had that main striker role and he's kind of flourished as he's kind of made it up the league and as he's kind of he's got a style which which fits in and suits him. Um, so, but, but above that, I don't think anybody else will, will be on anybody's radar, to be honest today. Right. So, more or less pretty settled then, and, you know, no real shocks or upsets. Kind of, it's kind of like Barnsley. I'm, I'm expecting them to, you know, to be rumoured to be going, and it's not going to be such a big of a shock, to be fair. So, coming back onto football, as in uh, league and that, Obviously, you come to Barnsley um, after a great result. Are you going to be going? Obviously, you're going to be going for a win. But have, are, are you a bit more confident having that result uh, to go into uh, the game? Oh well. The thing is, we would have been coming off the back of a result if the game had finished at half time in the weekend. We were tuned last game to Peter Pren and then lost three two. So mm. it, was, it was a good first half performance. We've been putting that first half performance again, and it will be fine. But I think a draw are the incredibly happy with to say that way um you know we are since we've been in league one and even in league two we're always there to upset the big boys we've got that underdog mentality and we're really you know we see Barnsley as a much higher ability third higher stature higher reputation and if there was one thing we really enjoyed when we come up last season and we just kind of upset and those big boys Mm. um again each time we do it's going to be a tough ask but yeah, I think, again, because it's been instilled on the players, what you're going to get is 100% from them. And, I mean, it just depends how long your team works out our defence, because that's our, our biggest weakness at the moment. Um, and hasn't, hasn't really been... We've not really made amends for it after last season, so I think mm-hmm. that's going to be our Achilles heel, really. Oh, really? Yeah, and that's interesting, because I think... Uh, for... Uh, signings you've started to make Michael Duff at Barnsley War well, for defence. Mm-hmm. Uh, we all know that you know we, we weren't scoring goals, but we're also conceding them. So he sent to act pretty quickly on that uh, regard as in shoring up defence. Uh, so getting back to the game, uh, do you think Wade's going to make any uh, many changes for the game uh, coming up? Uh, you know, would would you rest anybody or would you most keep it a settled settled side? Um, I think if there's going to be any changes to be made, it'll be in that back line. We started with a back three. A couple of surprises in there. We had the Lewis Freestone, who's kind of a, obviously he's more of a fringe player, youngster who's been developed. We got him from Brighton a few, a couple of years back now. He's just been rewarded with a new contract, but he's not really near league one quality. Hmm. And also gone into it with Charlie Raglan, who was fantastic at league two level, but league one level last season again. He got injured a fair bit, but made it horrendous mistake on the weekend just playing it into the path front of Clark Harris where he needs to clear it um, so mm. I think that back line we've got uh, Caleb Taylor on loan from West Brom he's really highly regarded by Steve Bridge he's allowed us to have him on loan for the, the whole of the season right. and he's really highly regarded so I would expect him to come in um, <laughs> maybe either for Freestone or Raglan but yeah the defence I would imagine is the only place it should change I think for Barnsley um I think he's going to make. I think he's going to make change after Plymouth game because I know everybody really weren't impressed with some um, effort getting not put in by players. Mm. Uh, for me, he's not going to change his team. He's still going to stop to that. Uh, I think because for a lot of fans, 
we travelled down, it was 600 and a mile round trip. And a lot of fans were saying the team that finished the game at Plymouth should be the team that was starting against Cheltenham. Because, like, such as Norwood came on, uh, Luke Thomas came on, they actually made a difference and an impact. Uh, Conor McCarthy came on for at back again to and he looked a lot more accomplished for Kundi who were getting singled out a bit and I know it was his first game but he were, he were caught wanting a lot of one on one situation and got got caught but in the second half he sent a react to that and showed it up and again with five substitution rule as well you you got that flexibility to do that uh, so from a boundary point of view I think I'd I'd like to see uh, Tom Luke Thomas start in midfield. Um, I'd like to see Conor McCarthy. Norwood start, I'd like to see, but again, it's one of them where he's like 30 odd and 31 year old and he's going to be starting every game. But will Michael be one seeing this as like his own, for, you know, his own form needs to start against Cheltenham? So, is you know, it's it's a double whammy kind of thing for him. Mm. But for me, I'd think it'd be a couple of changes, mainly in them areas, what I've just what I've just stated. And Luke uh, Thomas, where, do, where does he play? Because obviously he was, he was an ex Charlton Academy player. He got uh, yeah. Luke, Luke Thomas came into midfield, and then he went out on loan to Bristol Rovers. But for me, Luke Thomas is that kind of midfielder who likes to get forward and tries to create something. Mm. Um, but when he first came to Barnsley, it didn't work out for him for whatever reason. And I know he had a few off-field issues with you know his well-being and stuff. Went out to Bristol Rovers and they uh, were in and out and then he settled. But since he's come back and Michael Duff under pre-season, he's, he's really he's like a new signing, to be fair. yeah. Um, so for me, I'd like to see Luke Thomas start. Whether he does or not, I don't know. But I think if he does, he can make a difference in midfield. we would be wanting ball and trying to fetch other people into it, which Callum Styles wasn't. He was like inactive, whether his mind's on a move elsewhere, I don't know. But I, for me... I'm wanting to play what's going to be on pitch and like be in game and not be yeah. carrying them kind of things. So, um, result wise, obviously, I'm, I want to win, but I think it's going to be a bit of a tricky game. This, um, I'd like to say 2 1 because I think we, Alpha May, you've, you know, you've got you've got goals there. Uh, the problem is with us is scoring goals, but if we start, we know we're up front and probably Aitchison, I think there's a chance that we could. Probably have a couple of goals, but if we draw, for me, I'd be a bit disappointed because I think your own game should be really winning. Yeah. Um, so I think for Barnsley side, I'd be going for a two-one uh, win. Obviously, uh, Owen, uh, what what would you be going for a score prediction? Uh, I'm trying not to be as pessimistic as possible going into the season. So I've gone in with very low expectations, but I think with our ability to trouble defenses and have a troublesome defense at the same time, I would probably expect it to be like Saturday high score and entertaining game. So hopefully mm. there's a draw coming out on the end of it, maybe a seal draw. I think uh, we wouldn't face defensive issues won't have been addressed over the week. Um mm. so it's not a quick fix. But I think our attacking is where our threat lies and yeah. not being worked out too early on. But yeah, two all draw I think it would be an entertaining game. An entertaining, an entertaining game, that's what we want. Yeah, uh, uh, people what's watching, uh Leave your comments below. What, what do you think the score is going to be? Uh, be interesting to get your thoughts. Uh, Owen Knight on Twitter for Cheltenham Town fan. Uh, please check him out as well. Uh, Owen, it's been great to have you on. Um, all being fun. well when we come to Cheltenham. I'll get you on again and yeah. see where we are in league and that as well. Be yeah, much no appreciated. Look forward to it. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining. Uh, one thing left to say to everybody watching, you Reds. 